Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a two-player ping pong game. I'm just going to press save. Okay, now what you want to do is you basically go to the sprite section, type in paddle, P-A-D-D-L-E, click paddle. You want to do it, you want to go to the sprite section two times because you want it to be two-player, right? So, let's say you want to rotate it like me. Like, for a paddle, it wants to be like a straight line. So, what you want to do is, you go to the direction, change it all the way until it's straight like that. Okay, now, what you do is, let's go look inside the code. Alright, yeah, let's do it. So, go to the control section. Go to get forever block. If key up arrow, yeah. So let's say my key up arrow is pressing. And you want it to go up, right? So change y by ten. So change y by ten. It probably means that your pad is going up, right? So let's say I go to if then down arrow. You want it to go down. So change y by minus ten. Okay. So. Let me just put this all together. Let's go to the next panel. Basically, it's the same thing. But instead, we're using W, S, key W, and key S. It's the same code. It's just, it's just different. It's only different about the keys. So don't worry about the keys. You can make it mosaic if you want. It just looks a little cool. I prefer doing that. I don't know about you. You can do it if you want. Okay, now go to the line section. For your line, you don't have to do any code because you will do the code later in the ball. First, let me show you. Okay, go to the sprite section. Type in line. L-I-N-E. I-N-E. I-N-E. Okay, go to the line. Now that you've got your line, you're going to go... Now, if you want to turn it around, just do like the same thing I told you about the pad, or do it like something like that, right? Do it something like that. Okay. Now that you have done that, you want to go to the sprite section two times to pick up your red line. Now, once you have done that, just leave it there, just like that. Okay. Now, next, we can still use, um, like... We can still use, um, go, if you want to backdrop, search, type in space, S-P-A. Now go to stars. You got your star background now. Good. Good for you. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the ball section. It's kind of like the same thing, right? It's the same thing. Same code, same everything. Except for the cloning. I didn't do it. No, I want it to be more simple. So, so forever, forever, move 15 steps. Yeah, you always wanted to move 15 steps. You always wanted to keep going like I told you on my first video I made. So, if on edge bounce, so let's say my... Um, you want it to always bounce every time it touches. Or then it won't be a ball. Because if you wanted to touch the pad, you wanted to bounce. If touching paddle, turn random 130 to 200 degrees. If touching paddle, if touching paddle 2, because there are two paddles, turn 130, you can basically copy it. If touching line, then stop ball. If touching line 2, stop ball. Okay. Now, what you want to do is button 2. Okay. Now, you want a button, we can do it like just a little different. We're not going to go into Jiffy. Go to, you don't have to go to Jiffy. You don't have to go into a new tab. None, none, none. Okay? So, go to Sprite section. Type in button. B U. Okay, you got your button over here. Pick this one and it's pick the button that's called button 2. Okay, now that you got your button, what you want to do Go to costumes. Now, 
go press the T button. Change the color to black. You can change it to any color you want. I prefer black because it looks good. Oh, and also, I forgot to tell you. You can you can choose the costume you like if you want it to be a different color. I just choose blue. I'm not really like yeah. And you, and you just press press shift and S together for a capital S. S G A R T. Type it in. Yeah, I'll wait for you. One, two, three, four, five. Now that you have done that, go back to code. Okay. I would just delete it because I already made a rough copy because I was just trying to show you like how to do it, right? Yeah. Okay. So now what you wanted to do is let's go and do some broadcasting. All right. Let's do it. Okay. So, go to the event section, go get a block called when click, get another block of forever, I told you before this, and wait 0 0.1 seconds, go to the control section, type in 0 .0 0.0.1 seconds. Okay, now that you have done that, put it into the forever loop. Um, you can make it change color. It just looks a little cool. I would do that. I don't know about you. Okay. Just do change color effect by five. That looks good. Wait. Okay. When you click, you show. You want it to show is because it would be like, why would I need a start button if it wouldn't show? That's, that's pretty weird. So, and now um, for the sprite button, when this get a uh, when this sprite click, broadcast start game. Go to the control section. Wait, no event. Broadcast. Type in broadcast start game. Start game. Okay. Now that you have done that, put it attach connect it to when this sprite click block, and then when you sprite click, you you don't want it always to like. Sh like show, or then it would be it wouldn't be a start button, and it would be a broken one because there's no, or then there won't be any more broadcasting. Now that you want it to be hiding, go to the look section, scroll down, find this block called hide. I'll wait for you for two seconds because it's kind of easy. One, two, to do. Okay. Now attach it to the broadcast start game. Now that you got your broadcast, you're going to have to do some receiving, like receiving a message. For example, let's say a person um, calls you on the phone saying, Hey, Bob, wanted me at Pizza Plaza today to eat at lunch at 12 o'clock. I'm just making time up. I'm just making the time up. So... Receiving is basically there's another person called Brad and Brad must be saying, sure, I'll do that. That's called receiving. So, Pedro, here. When I receive start game, it's basically like taking, I'm um, picking up a telephone. When I receive start game, show. Want it to show. Yeah, want it to show. Okay. Forever, we don't need to do this. You want it to show. When you okay, go to the event section and get the when I receive start game block. Then go to the look section. I'll wait for you two seconds because it's kind of easy to do. Drag it and attach it to when I receive start game. I'm just doing. I'm just gonna go get the block two times because I'm just showing you. Now that you have done that, attach the show block to when I receive start game. Now drag this whole piece of code onto the forever loop. Okay, now we're gonna do the like the like the same thing basically. We're gonna repeat it. Go to the when I receive start game. Type it in. Now drag it like this. Go to the look section. I'll wait for you two seconds. One, two. Okay. Now drag it, attach it, and then just attach it to forever. I'm just doing it two times just to show you. Don't mind me. I always do that just so then I can make you understand. 
Okay. When you when click, you want it to hide. You know. You when click, you want your thing to hide, right? You want it to hide. And the reason why is that because when that's the whole point of having a start button because um the start button is like basically like um let's say oh i want to eat something like blah 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 and then now and then now the and then you yeah, have mcdonald's and then the mcdonald's staff says no you gotta click on this button first and you click on it, and then the game shows, basically. Okay. Okay, let me attach this here. Good. Now that you have done that for the thing, Go to the line, pedal, pedal two. Okay. See you next time. To for the next week, we're gonna go and make a maze game. Goodbye.